We always knew Taylor Swift had Selena Gomez's back, but according to a new expose, Selena was one of the big reasons Taylor went after Scooter so hard when he purchased her masters. Scooter Braun has become a very controversial figure around Hollywood, especially after his very public feud with Taylor Swift. In case you're not super familiar with Scooter's reputation, here's the rundown. Scooter is the mega manager behind artists like Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, Demi Lovato, and other popular celebs. But Scooter was seriously under fire after he bought the masters to Taylor Swift's first six studio albums back in 2019. Since then, Taylor has been more than open about her feelings towards Scooter and even made a scathing Tumblr post condemning the purchase of her masters, calling Scooter an incessant manipulative bully. Tay went on to re-record her 2008 studio album Fearless and more recently debuted the Taylor's version of her 2012 album Red after she claimed that she was never given a chance to purchase her masters. But according to a recent expose on Scooter published by Insider, Taylor's dispute with Big Machine wasn't the only reason why she went after Scooter so hard. It actually goes back to a few years ago when some bad blood began to brew between Scooter and the girlfriend of his biggest client, Selena Gomez, throughout her on and off relationship with Justin. Multiple sources told Insider that while Jelena was alive and well, Scooter acted as a parental figure to Justin and appeared to be enmeshed in nearly all aspects of his life, including in Selena and Justin's relationship. They wrote, Over time, there definitely got to be bad blood between the two camps, which sounds like Scooter may have been overstepping and acting too controlling over even Justin Bieber's personal relationships, like with Cell. And according to a source close to Taylor, she was allegedly appalled by the way Scooter handled aspects of Justin and Selena's relationship and added that it was one of the reasons Swift went after Braun so hard when he later purchased her masters. Damn, Taylor was definitely not messing around when it came to Scooter's treatment of Cell, who Tay considers to be one of her best friends. Let's be real, who can blame her? Scooter's attorney later went on to call Taylor's claim ridiculous and said that Scooter continues to have a very good relationship with Selena. The attorney also added that Scooter and Taylor were photographed dancing together in Taylor's photo booth at a private billboard after party in recent years, back in 2015. But a source close to Tay clapped back, saying, if Scooter is trying to insinuate they were friends, it would have been the friendly thing to do to ask her if she was okay with him buying her entire life life's work out from under her. Damn, talk about a messy situation. But not that we ever had any doubts, Cell has had Tay's back since day one. Following the initial drama between Tay and Scooter, Selena published a letter of her own, siding with Taylor, writing, You've robbed and crushed one of our best songwriters of our time, an opportunity to celebrate all of her music with fans and the world. Um, yeah, we are just so glad these ladies have each other's backs through this sticky situation. Because seriously, as if it isn't already hard enough to be a woman in the music industry. We're glad Taylor is taking back control of her music, and we'll be sure to keep you posted with any future updates if this situation unfolds further. Go ahead and click right over here for why Conan Gray praised Taylor Swift for raising an entire generation of songwriters. Then let us know all your thoughts on the whole Taylor, Selena, Scooter situation in the comments down below. I'm your girl Carly Henderson. Come find me on social media at Carly Henderson underscore, and I'll see you next time.